going to do a walk around video on this 2012 Bobcat S175 skid steer that's being brought in by a local utility company. They usually do a really good job of taking care of their equipment. Um, this one uh, mechanically seems to be doing needs to do. It cranks up, it runs, it drives. Um, it's operating in suit. Now, cosmetically, it does leave a little bit to be desired. Um, that is very uh, common in this construction equipment. That's really no big deal there. So I'm going to start off here at the front. <clears throat> it has that six foot bucket with the little steps welded to it. And the blade itself does seem to have quite a bit of life left to it. If I'm not mistaken, that is actually an uh, interchangeable blade there. You can unbolt it and use it as a dirt blade, or you can go ahead and uh, put a better blade on there. So that's a nice option to have on a bucket. That's a really expensive bucket on this machine here. It does have the quick connects there, as you can see. Um, the step has been bolted on to get you into the cab. Now, a really nice feature on this thing is it has these industrial grade um, airless tires. Now, as you can see, this machine has been concrete driven only. It's coming out of a local utility company. This is their uh, little yard unit. I never saw mud. This was not a contractor. So it hasn't really been abused like a contractor would abuse it. Now, if you're going to keep this thing on concrete or keep it out of the mud, these tires will do a great job for you. Uh, they have quite a bit of life left to go. Now, mud, as you can see, for obvious reasons, that might pose a problem. It cranks up, it runs, it drives, has around 2,600 hours on that Kubota 46 horsepower diesel engine, which we believe has recently been changed. I will get to that in my next video on an auction time at Brookhouse Auctions. Will it be bought? Thank you.